Hey everybody, uh, we're here on Saturday afternoon in Red Deer at the CFR. Uh, just getting ready for go round number five in a couple hours. And believe it or not, this is the first interview that we've ever done with Carmen. <laughs> and she's hard to catch up to with a pretty busy schedule. Um, Carmen's been with us since even before day one with Woody's Custom Saddles. Uh, we sent her a prototype right from the beginning. And uh, Carmen, it's um, been a great year, you've qualified for Red Deer again and, and the number one spot and, and your first national finals um, on a horse that you trained. Yep. So congratulations and uh, tell us a little bit about Rip. You've, you've owned her most of her life and uh, she's eight years old now and at what point in the training process did you know? Did you know right away? Um, did, was she special from the beginning? Was it always easy? Uh, tell us a little bit about you know Rip as a two or a three year old. Well, I started her on the, out in the stock yards first, and that's when she, like, she does everything 110%. Like, I would take her down the alleys chasing the cows, and she'd be ch chomping the bit, trying to bite them, and, like, anything she does is at the max. So, we go, as soon as I started her on the barrels, she ended up doing it naturally. Like, she just wants to work, so the smallest cues, she would do it right away. She was easy to train. Um, and she feeds off your energy, so she wants to please uh, just as much as you want to win, so. Uh. That's cool. You, you had actually uh, told me a story a while back that you had possibly talked about selling her when she was a younger horse at one point in time, and a good friend of yours had tried her out, and uh, tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, there's, so she came to try her, because I was thinking of, like, usually I try, I either slim down the herd a little bit, so I don't have so much on my plate, because I have a few each year. Well, she comes and tries her, and she runs her through the pattern. I've never even had her on the pattern before, and uh, uh, she was just a natural right away. I'm like, mm, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna be able to sell her now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep her for maturity hours. And so. and you guys had a stellar maturity and derby, you know, um, career with with Rip as well, and, and won a lot of money, and and now you're on the rodeo trail. Um, let's go back about 13 months from now, uh, grassroots 2017, <laughs> and and. Murray, the Dodge rep, was raking a barrel, and you're running down the alley on rep, and Murray was still raking the barrel, and we know <laughs> that when rip starts heading for the first barrel, you're not going to slow her down, yeah. right? Yeah. So, what were, what were you thinking? What was going through your mind? Well, they actually called, they weighed me in, and so, sure enough, as soon as I send her, she's like, I'm going for this barrel, and it's like, pretty much like a missile that's locked <laughs> onto the target. <laughs> so, sure enough, I go there, and they're like, whoa, and I'm like, Good luck. <laughs> and then there's this guy at first barrel, and I run in there, and all I see is him like nudging the barrel, pan the like cover, and I'm like, do not move, because last time, he's like, <laughs> last second, he looks up and he went, looks like he was gonna poop himself. <laughs> and then I'm like, just don't move, and Rip just ate it, but she like made enough perfect space, because if he moved and tried to get across, I would have smoked him. So at least I was able to get around him. <laughs> and then I was like. Oh, now I need to continue and get as much speed as possible because we just lost that extra two steps and I didn't know. <laughs> well, you don't know if you're going to get a rerun, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, it's kind of, you enter the arena and it's that's never happened before. So. No, I'm pretty sure the whole rule book was going through my head, like, is this my <laughs> only chance at this or what? Like, yeah. When we were visiting with Murray the other night, and he's he was uh, he's become famous since then, and, and <laughs> that video had several thousand hits on it within a, a few hours on social media. Um, yeah, uh, so we're here in Red Deer, and uh, you've had an okay week, but um, Rip has kind of been, had a few months off from competition, and you guys are feeling like you're in the groove now a little bit, and... Uh, yeah, I had to give her some time off so I can get her strong for these two finals to hit off. Um, and we never got much time to ride before this. I think we got on her seven times just to breeze her out. I never did get on barrels. I got to go do one practice run in Maiden Creek, and then we came here, and sure enough, our first run down the alley was not what we expected, but <laughs> it was a little deeper than I thought, but it was good. Like, once I figured it out, I knew what I had to do after that. Yeah, and you had her at Cooley Equine swimming and treadmill or whatever yeah. for the last little while. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you guys actually got in the arena ahead of time, and, and this was kind of cool about Carmen, and she's all cowgirl in my opinion, and uh, they, uh, they needed somebody to make a practice run here in Red Deer on the ground before the rodeo even started, and... Uh, Guess who signed up was Carmen. <laughs> well, I was 
first out in the draw, so I was guinea pig no matter what. So I, so I told the girls, I'm like, can I just do be guinea pig in practice too to see if it's going to stand up? <laughs> if we weren't going to stand up, I would know just to go around them farther. <laughs> so we did tip if we did fall. <laughs> That's good. Um, as, as you get ready after Red Deer now, you go home and, and obviously you're going to head south to Vegas a few weeks ahead of time. Uh, what does it look like your next 30 days preparing for Vegas? Um, a lot of jogging for myself <laughs> and a lot of like I'm taking her down to uh, Arizona there and just to go in the washes and get her lungs up because we haven't had a whole bunch of conditioning for that and then just to stay consistent on her every day to get her strong for 10 rounds so she'll probably be able to do it. She has six rounds here so I don't see how other four won't hurt her. And, and what about you? Every athlete has things that they're they're working on or goals, I guess, uh, whether it's mental toughness or horsemanship type of things. Is there anything you want to share with the audience out there that um, you're working on currently or sort of next year's things that you try to work on? Or? Well, there's always up to, ups and downs no matter what. So it just depends. Life gets in the way sometimes and you kind of just plow through it and go with it all. So uh, mental, mental game is probably 60, 70% of the whole thing. Sharp. Yeah. yeah. Balance your life for sure. Well, right on. Well, congratulations this year, and it's a pretty special year. And uh, make sure that when you're uh, when you're in Vegas or here in Red Deer, you always take time to enjoy the moment. Right. Yeah. So. We'll do. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>